Hello friends and family, welcome back to my channel. It's Antonia, I hope you guys are doing well. Today I wanted to go over and review the Songmont Drippy Bag for you guys. If you follow me on Instagram, underscore Hello Harley. If you follow me on TikTok, at Hello Harley, then you would have seen glimpses of this bag. I definitely shared this on Instagram a lot more than I did on TikTok, but I was using this bag a lot, so it was kind of like in view of some of my TikToks, but I got this about a month ago. I've been using it nonstop and I really wanted to give you guys a thorough review on this Songmont drippy bag. Now you might have heard about Songmont before, famously for their convertible Luna bag. Everybody likes that bag and I agree. It looks like a very nice bag, especially because the handle can be converted in so many ways and then you can definitely style that bag differently. But I was super drawn to their drippy roof bag bag. And for full disclosure, this Song Mont Drippy bag was sent to me by an agency. However, I do want to mention that there was no talk about doing a full review video for them. There was no talk in anything like that. I just have used this so much and I don't see many reviews out there for the Song Mont small drippy roof bag that I decided that I would make my own review for you guys in case you were looking into grabbing yourself a Song Mont Drippy bag. I know the price point is pretty fair compared to a lot of things out there nowadays like especially with bags everything is getting so expensive and this bag specifically really reminded me of this one that I own myself this Loewe puzzle bag so I figured I would do a thorough review for you guys that way this is out there and anyone who's looking for information about the small drippy bag here it is for you guys songmont is a chinese fashion house it was founded in 2013 by song herself she has 15 years in the industry and i really like her unique outtake on her handbags that she has created so the drippy roof bag as the name states actually was inspired by the traditional chinese architectural roofs I really like the shape. It is a little bit triangular. It's a little bit rectangular. It's just such a beautiful design to it. And I think it looks so interesting, especially with its like little flappy ears. There are three sizes to the drippy roof bag. There is a mini drippy roof bag. This is the small drippy roof bag. And then there is a larger drippy roof bag as well. I personally went with the small drippy roof bag because I thought it was the most comparable to the Loewe puzzle bag. That way I can give you guys a really nice thorough review on whether or not I think that this drippy roof bag, if you're looking for a Loewe puzzle bag, could actually replace the Loewe puzzle bag for you. As you guys know, this bag I think is one, this specific style is no longer in production if you want a Loewe puzzle bag it's actually the puzzle edge so you don't have this like puzzle like the slouchy puzzling involved um, but yeah I figured this is the closest that you can get this bag retails for over like six thousand dollars now this bag retails for about 500 canadian dollars which is why i really want to review this for you guys i also want to mention it does come beautifully wrapped in its box it says songmont on the bottom here and then it says songmont in chinese here as well mine got a little bit dinged up during delivery but that's okay the box was still really nicely intact um, inside has their really nice beautiful tissue everything was really nicely wrapped it also comes with their authenticity papers and um, all the information and then also after sales information and then there's just some coupon codes here as well which I'm gonna keep just because I'm thinking about getting the larger drippy and I'll explain that in a little bit. I'm just gonna reference my phone here. It is made out of full grain leather. The inside is actually made out of a synthetic leather. Its dimensions are 24 centimeters wide, 12 centimeters in height and nine centimeters in diameter. The weight of the bag is about 400 grams and then there is a stainless steel vacuum electroplated hardware so everything is still gold hardware. Mine actually have these feet covers on it at the moment but I like putting and keeping the feet covers on because it's like shoes for it but there's not much hardware to it. It's just on the bottom feet and then there is some gold hardware on the strap as well. 
the strap itself is adjustable and it can go from 92 centimeters to 130 centimeters. Now that we have the specs and dimensions out of the way, I also want to mention that either side you notice that there's these ears on them. They're actually pockets. And if you get the large drippy bag, it actually holds a full sized regular sized iPhone. I don't think, I don't know if it holds the max, but I did see that it holds a regular size iPhone. This size, which is the small size, holds some credit cards if you really want, or like loyalty cards, but I would be a little bit scared that they will fall out. However, in a pinch, I think if you're just like, you have too many things in your hand and you need to just throw your credit card somewhere, it will just slip right in if you need it to. Also, the strap, the crossbody strap, it is is removable I just have it tucked into the, the ears here that way I don't have like a strap hanging outside of the ears for more of a I guess like a clean look to it but you can remove the strap and then you can choose to just carry it top handle if you'd like I do also want to note that if you go for the mini drippy size there is no top handle I think because it's such a small bag there's only a crossbody option and I don't think the crossbody on the mini drippy is actually removable also, some other things to note that are a little bit different in each sizes is the opening of the bag. So this is the small size. It has two magnetic openings on either side. If you go for the larger drippy bag, it actually has a full zip, whereas the small and the mini are magnetic closures. Might I add, it is a very strong magnetic closure. Like I'm holding it by the flap it is still staying closed and it's either side of this. And then also the ears are also magnetized. So you're not worried that this is just gonna like start flapping and losing shape. It will stay in place. Other than that, it's really easy to get in and out of the flap. It just stays back there if you really need it to, but it is a really large compartment and there is one large pocket on the back of the bag so if this is the back the pocket just is on the back wall of this bag other than that there's nothing else it's pretty no frills a phone fits any size phone will fit a water bottle does not fit but it is a pretty good size if you just carry say like a camera your keys your wallet some like lip balms even a compact and then your phone this bag will carry your daily essentials if you want to carry your water bottle, I do suggest getting the larger drippy bag because I believe that one does carry a water bottle. Now the reason why I'm actually interested in adding a larger drippy bag to my collection is because I think it would actually make a really great travel bag, although it is full leather so it would be definitely heavier to carry around versus carrying like my Longchamp Le Pliage backpack when I'm traveling. but. Sometimes I'm like, ugh, all my pictures are kind of like blah because all I have is this backpack and then you see like backpack straps always on your body when you're taking photos and you're out and about on travel. So I was really contemplating getting a larger drippy bag because I think it would just be a little bit more stylish to have it like sitting across like this or like in a pinch I take it off and then I just carry it like this. It's like, it looks like it's part of the photo. Whereas when I'm like taking a photo with my backpack on, it looks like, I have no idea. It just kind of looks like uh, tourist, you know what I mean? In terms of the quality of this bag, I do have to say it is a really nice quality. I know China gets like a wrap for like, ooh, you know, like people are always like, oh, made in China, like I don't want it, but like, China has been producing products, you know? Um, yes, there are some cheaply made items in China, but this bag has been actually crafted so well. And I do want to also point out that when you look at this really closely, this leather piece and this leather piece are two different pieces. They align perfectly. However, this flap overlaps the flap on this side right so the stitching kind of goes across and you can see that the left flap is 
above the side. Whereas when you look at the body of the bag in the front, the right side overlaps the left side. So I do want to mention if you get a darker color that has the contrast stitching, such as brown or tan or something like that, it will kind of look misaligned solely because the stitching goes on the left side from the back to the front of the flap and then this front portion it goes on the right side so then when you look at it it looks like it's like a millimeter misaligned it is not it is fully lined up it's only looking like that because of how it was constructed and i think they did that for like interest um but then you kind of get looking at it and you're like, whoa, what's going on there? Because when you look at the bottom of the bag, you see it's like four different leather pieces, plus the sides are a different leather piece as well. The way it's been constructed is so interesting. And honestly, it feels so nice. This full grained leather is really nice. I do have to spray it because, oh, sun went down. I'm so sorry, guys. I do have to spray it because it is in the color ivory, so it can get really dirty. I actually used it the other day and then there was like blue stuff all over here because it was like a hot, sticky day out in Toronto. I was spending it at the park i was using it and i was just like you know really really using it and then when i got home i noticed that there was like blue rubbing all over here and then i actually on this corner here which i don't think you'll be able to see but for me i can still see it there is still a little bit of blue rubbed on there with that being said, of course, you don't have to get a white bag like I did. You can definitely go for one of their darker colors to avoid that, but I really loved the ivory. In the small drippy size, they don't have it in many colors. I actually did want it in tan, but they don't have it in many colors at the moment. Right now it comes in ivory, like a minty blue, green color, a gray, and then a black. And I don't want any more black bags because it's kind of boring, but I would love this in a chocolate brown or a tan color i think that would be perfection um but i don't think it comes in those colors in the larger size but the mini size has ample amount of colors to choose from this is a fantastic bag this top handle is not adjustable i do have to mention that as well it is part of the ears it's not adjustable you can't take it off either um so if you don't like the length of this with how it's being held you won't maybe don't go for the size and go for the mini just because the mini does not have the top handle or maybe go for the larger size because then you'll have a lot more room but i do think that it is quite nice and comparable to the loeve puzzle bag this one is a smidge smaller than the loeve puzzle bag in the size small both of these are in the size small however i do think that it is comparable it is just like a very nice structured handbag and and can you believe that it has feet and the Loewe does not have feet? Crazy, right? And I have shoes on it at the moment. Like, Also, other details I do want to note down. It says Songmont in the front here with a leather patch. And then on either side of the ears, it also says Songmont. Overall, I think it's a great bag, great price point. I think if you're looking for some sort of luxury, it's a really nice bag, I do have to say, even though it was sent to me. But again, I'm already thinking about purchasing a larger size myself. So I'm adding that to the list. I'm thinking about it. I'm gonna continue using this. It's gonna be a great summer bag because of the light color. It is super durable feeling. I'm gonna have to spray it down with some sort of like leather care for sure because of course it is white, so it is prone to color transfer, but hopefully I can take care of it and then that way it will live a long life with me. If you guys have any other questions about the Songmont drippy roof bag, leave them in the comments down below. I would love to hear from you. Otherwise, please follow me on Instagram, underscore Hello Harley. Follow me on TikTok at Hello Harley. I am posting so much content on there, so you are missing out. It's not fashion content on TikTok. It's a mishmash of everything on Instagram, I also post a mishmash of everything. So definitely follow me on both those platforms. I would love to have you guys there. I would love for you guys to join me on those platforms as well. Other than that, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.